Hi, my name is Barry Crampton. Uh, just uh, another uh, video in the, the series I'm going to do on this Moog car and how it can save you money if you're a private person or if you're a, a car dealer like me. And it can save you money whether you're buying a car or whether you're selling a car or whether you've sold a car and it comes back. Now, I'll just show you a, a quick tip uh, and something that's saved us, well, it saved us £9,000 in one incident. So anyway, this, this is it. This is the scanner, comes in a nice case, fitted case, but having said that, it's, it's small enough to carry around with you, not exactly in your pocket, but if you carry a briefcase or you're going to buy a car or anything, it's a must to take with you. So first of all, we'll switch it on. So while that's switching on, that's the Bluetooth dongle. So there's no cables or anything to carry around with you. Bluetooth dongle, just for the ease of this video, showing you on this video, I've got an extension cable as well. So it's, it stops me having to get out and go under the, the dash and hear all sorts of bones cracking and stuff while I do it. So, so that's it. So once it's plugged in, you'll see in a second. So you can see it there. So we'll just wait for this to warm up. And this, this one particular thing, worth its weight in gold. So it's the, the thing started up, the machine started up. If we click on it, EOBD or OBD, and it's in the old OBD2 port. That, you'll see there, it's already got a Bluetooth connection and it's switching on. Prompt information, select the access mode. Yes, quick mode, no scanning mode. So we'll go for quick mode, yes. Here we go, mill status off. Click on mill status, click OK. And here we go. Now you've got this other menu up, read live data mode. This is, this is a fortune saver. On there, that brings another menu up. And then we go down to, well, we go down to the Ds, distance traveled since DTC cleared. So if I click that and then click OK, you'll see there distance travel since DTC 83 miles. So 83 miles ago, this car had the, some trouble codes cleared. Now, I did it myself, so I know that's true. However, that's the first warning sign. It's already, especially if it's like three or four miles, because these days a customer can buy one of those for I think about 15 quid and they can just clear the trouble code so even if it keeps coming on they can stop just up the road or if it's a private seller they can they can just before you come they can plug this in clear the trouble codes and usually it takes three complete cycles or three journeys for the trouble code to come back on so it might be you know it might not come on the same day it might be a few days later if you don't use it a lot it could be a week later but anyway, it, it'll come back on, and that's simply because somebody's pulled the wool over your eyes. So now we just go, um, we just go back. So that's 83 miles. We go back there, and then the next one, which again I'll just knock that off. But then distance travelled while mill is activated. So on there, click OK. No miles. Well, that, that's a that's a good thing. So. The next one, this is the one that saved us. And I'll tell you for why. Uh, we, we had a customer who's, uh, who rang up and said his car had overheated um, and it, it, you know, it just overheated, it wouldn't start. And you, you, have to be, <laughs> you have to be very, very careful. He said the light had come on, he put water in, went home, it was all right, but it wouldn't start the next morning. What the actual diagnostic machine said was, his engine warning light came on and he just kept going. He just kept going until he cut the engine and it, the engine's about 9,000 pounds to, to fit. Um, obviously the, the chap thought, it, oh, it's still under warranty, it doesn't matter what happens, but it actually it does. And in the old days, you used to have to get a forensic engineer out to, to examine the engine just to see that. But now this 400 quid, this is, this is what I'm saying. If you go here, distance traveled while mill is activated. So we click on there, select okay, and no miles. But in the case of this other car, 
it was quite a few miles and it had run out of water and he still kept going. Uh, he got a hole in the radiator and it, it, he, j he just kept going. So if it hadn't been for machines like this, it would have been very difficult to prove and it would have cost us £9,000. And believe me, we're not the type of people to get out of a warranty claim. If there's something gone wrong with a car and it's down to us, we'll pay it, no questions asked. But the, there is a... a um, A sort of it's all right to con motor dealers these days you know I, I admit there's plenty of motor dealers out there who aren't honest uh, and who con customers we don't we don't want to be conned either um, so so that's it so this 399 pounds 9,000 pound saving and it's small enough to carry in your briefcase whenever you go to see a car um, and just takes two seconds just have to have the ignition on two seconds to plug in and say five minutes to, to do and you can do a complete check by just if, if we just go back it, it will check all the systems let's see would you like to hear it yes it'll also that beeping is to warn you to take the plug out it's easy to leave that in these days so all you have to do now, we'll go right out of the system, scan, click scan, auto search, it'll look for the chassis number, determine what car it is, which model. Again, Bluetooth connection established. It's got the chassis number, it knows what vehicle it is, it knows what the reading should be. And here we go, that's, that's the details of the car, click yes. health report and that's it it's scanning through the whole car all the different computers all the different systems thirty two percent done Also, it's important to do this. It's in, before, if you sell a car, it's important to clear the memory because then the, the, the trick I showed you earlier about the engine management light being on, you can then see how long it's been on. You can see how, uh, you can see how many miles the car's done. You've got how many, how many miles the car had done when you sold it off your invoice and then you can deduct um, the mileage of how long the engine management light has been on from the total. And uh, it, sometimes it's pretty, uh, pretty horrifying reading. But there you go, that's 100%. And as you can see, it's gone through all the system there, checked it all, all green lights. If you send a car out like that, you know. And all, also you can, you can print a report. So with each car, when we send it out, we print a report, we've got it in the file, we know it was fine. Um, for instance, we, we had somebody else uh, a few weeks ago. Um, it was like that when I bought it. Well, it wasn't. <laughs> it, it, no, it wasn't. <laughs> so, you know, you, you've got proof. And it, as I say, we're, we're not a motor dealer that's out to con the public. We're very, we're more than fair. We, we pay for stuff that we shouldn't do really uh, just so as we can sleep at night and, and that's it but as I say I, I uh, this was sent to me free of charge I was looking to buy one it was such good timing and, uh, and in all honesty I, th I think I would have uh, I would have chosen this one it's it's way way above my capabilities it'll do so much more than I'm capable of, of telling it to do um, so I, I can thoroughly recommend it. Thanks for watching.